toys now marking the spot where a little girl plunged to her death. Tonight, amid all the sorrow, there is a nagging question. How did she get to the roof of the apartment building where she fell? Good evening, everyone. At 6 o'clock, Liz is off. Kyra Martin was her name. She was just three years old. She was found in the middle of the night outside the family's apartment on Park Place in the Weeksville section of Brooklyn. Her family's pain, unfathomable. How did this happen? I News reporter Tim Fleischer is at the scene tonight with our lead story. Tim? And Bill, the death of this little girl, all the more tragic now that we are learning that she managed to wander away from her apartment up to the roof and without detection fell to the ground to her death. Tonight, her family tells me they are hurting. I can't believe she's just gone just like that. Nadine Martin painfully had to see for herself the place here outside her granddaughter's apartment building where little three-year-old Kyra Martin was discovered face down in a snowbank having fallen to her death. Well, she probably woke up and was in an unfamiliar surrounding and I mean three years old she was she wandered around trying to find her location or something. Found in frigid overnight temperatures the little girl falling to her death four floors from the roof. There's one set of footprints in the snow on the roof, and the baby tragically uh, fell off the roof. It's 21 degrees. So she was going to freeze to death if nobody had found her anywhere. Surveillance cameras in the hallway, police reveal, capture the little girl leaving her apartment alone. Another camera catches her climbing the stairs and going through the door to the roof. People apparently didn't, didn't hear the alarm when the officers went to the roof, saw the baby's footprints towards the front for the edge of the building. As neighbors create a memorial from small toys and candles are lit in Kyra's honor, her family has trouble understanding how this could have happened two days after they moved into the apartment. If you're being placed by the city, it looks like they will have some kind of security and, you know, better protection for the kids. Neighbors like Essie Scott cannot help but wonder. How could they let the baby walk out? And they not know that baby's gone. And the little girl's tragic death coming just two days before Christmas. It's painful to lose a child, and I think that that pain becomes uh, even more drastic when it happens during the holiday season. Very painful. In fact, we are told that Kyra's mother is distraught. Reporting live in the Weeksville section of Brooklyn, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.